Hey, Steve Trimble in the Building Point teams. When you got a couple hundred magnets to lay out and you're trying to beat rebar and concrete, um, sometimes there is a huge advantage to passing off that layout to a green apprentice. Um, the advantages of April tags are it is essentially easy and repeatable setup, especially with the self leveling and self calibration. Just about anyone can lay out, and if they're using the um, focusing laser and a, or a prism near the ground, they don't even have to level the rod. Um, the steps, as you can see here, are first to tape um, those April tags. We, you need a minimum of three, four suggested. And after you're done with that kind of one setup area, you can actually delete them and reuse them um, for other parts of the pour. Um, tilt no more than five degrees when you um, put them on those planar surfaces. They have to be greater than five meters or 15 feet away from the RI. Um, and then you kind of follow general control uh, specs, which is avoid collinear or collinear or uh, coplanar surfaces, so that if you put them all on one wall, if that wall is off, obviously it's going to make your setup off. Um, uneven lighting uh, you want to avoid, and then um, have similar but very elevation to the RI. Um, after you tape them, like you see here, they already are. You just simply just go to set up. Uh, you set up your RI with uh, project controls like you would, and then collect them like you see here. Um, after that's done, we're going to hand it off to our apprentice, Justin. Um, he will just need to set up the total station within five degrees or roughly. Uh, turn it on. The auto level and calibration will happen. He will then go to set up, select the first and farthest April tag. Um, suggested and then if it's within specs you can get going with layout as with all field link layout um, setup and layout accuracy are saved so you can check it back on connect if it isn't he can either troubleshoot it or more than likely call you back um, to help fix it so with that we're going to show you what it looks like to set up with april tags we're going to do an april tag setup with the ri it's a new way to set up the total station So you're lever leveling it, does it need to be level? It doesn't, it just it tends to help the compensator. It tends okay. to work a little faster if you level it. Okay. And then you turned it on, do you need to calibrate it or anything? No, it calibrates. Every time you set up, calibrate compensates everything. Okay. Recording lets you set up. So after the minute or two for leveling and self-calibration that happens at the beginning of the day, your apprentice will just point to the farthest point first. In this case, this point's about 300 feet away. It'll measure that and then go automatically look for the rest of them. In 6-7, it'll look for um, any April tags that are listed within there. Um, as you're setting up throughout uh, the days, if something's moved, obviously your setup will be wrong. Um, and you're going to want to check that or delete it. Um, and then as you move to a new point of the project, just simply delete them and remeasure them back in or start a new project so you can reuse them. If you have them printed on magnetic targets, they do go on steel very well. Um, but yeah, as with all setup, your setup accuracy and layout accuracy are stored. So you know uh, how to get those points were laid out. Justin. What'd you do? You just pointed at some QR codes? Yeah, so you aim at the first one, it goes through, knows where the other one's at, measures them, and then you set up and good to go. So we have a, oh, 0.001 of a foot. What is that in fractions? Uh, one to 1,000? Eight. Um, so we hit set and we're ready to oh, go lay out. that's a 16. Actually, a thousandths of a foot is well less than a sixteenth, but as you can see here, he's able to get going and laying out, and we can even check his accuracy of those layout points as well as other his other setups um, with the TFLX file on Connect. Um, so with FieldLink and Connect, you can actually see progress and status of layout, uh, as well as what may be affecting that uh, throughout the day, as well as accuracy, and getting that as-built information straight back to the model. Um, please stay tuned. We'll have some other videos showing that as well as um, GPS for layout um, and AR on site for checking. Thanks and please reach out to your nearest building point representative if you have any questions.